Hello and welcome to the three-minute preview of our paper developing a spoofer error envelope for tracking of GNSS signals. What is a spoofer? A spoofer emits fake GNSS signals so that the receiver can no longer distinguish between the authentic and the spoofing signal and as a result it calculates a manipulated PBT solution. Spoofing is not only a theoretical threat, it's highly relevant as recent reports have shown and we would like to analyze the effect of the spoofing signal on the GNSS measurements in order to access, assess the risk and to develop countermeasures. To assess the risk of a spoofer, we need to bound the tracking error. Where does it depend on? On the one hand, it depends on the spoofing signal, which means the signal power, the delay of the fake PRN encode, and the relative Doppler. And on the other hand, it depends on the implementation of tracking in the receiver. In order to define a concrete bound, we make some assumptions. However, the method is not limited to these assumptions. So we say that we are using a conventional receiver. That means we are using a PLL and DLL structure to track the signals. Our receiver is in tracking mode. That means before the spoofing signal is switched on, we track the authentic satellite signals. And last but not least, we are using a static spoofer receiver geometry in order to neglect the relative Doppler. So to define a concrete bound, we distinguish two cases. First is that the spoofing signal power is lower than the satellite signal power. That means that our spoofing signal is quite similar to a multipass. And for a multipass, we already have a bound, the so-called multipass error envelope. What does a multipass error envelope give? It gives a lower and upper bound of the tracking error as a function of the relative delay of the spoofing signal and other parameters. In this plot, we have shown it for three different power ratios, but all of these power ratios ensure that the spoofing signal is lower than the satellite signal power. Now, if we consider the case that the spoofing signal power is larger than the satellite power, we have the problem that the multipath error envelope is no longer valid. So we need new bounds. And that is exactly what we have done in this paper. We propose a new bound for this case, we call it a spoofer error envelope, and it's similar to the multipass error envelope as it gives the upper and lower bound of the tracking error as a function of the relative delay of the spoofing signal and other parameters. Are you interested in these bounds? Then please read our paper. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you for your attention.